After leaving Yellowstone National Park, we spent the next 10 days camping in Wyoming. I loved being in the mountains. The weather was great, cool nights, nice days. Our Ford F-250 diesel did an awesome job moving us up and down the mountains. The truck had no problem pulling our heavy-duty trailer. I, on the other hand, was a bit freaked out by some of the narrow winding roads. Our first stop was Wapiti Campground between Yellowstone and Cody, Wyoming. We didn't have reservations but got lucky and got a beautiful spot with electric and a great view of the Red Rocks. The area had great hiking. We didn't have any internet or cell service. I saw my first Starlink internet RV or camp there. I can't wait till Starlink is rolled out wider so that we can get it on our RV. Too bad. So this is the trail we're coming up on. Horse trail? Yes, part of the campground. This trail has a really nice river running through it. Very pretty. We're out this morning. It's probably about 9.30. We were in a very wild area. Shoshone National Forest is over 2.4 million acres and is the oldest national forest in the United States. It contains five different wilderness areas and three different mountain ranges. We didn't see any grizzly bears, but we are 100% sure they live there. Most hikers we saw were open carrying bear protection. One day we drove into Cody, Wyoming for supplies and stopped at the Buffalo Bill Dam. It's very impressive. Completed in 1910, it was one of the first concrete arch dams in the United States and at 325 feet high was the highest dam in the world at the time. As part of the project, they built a series of tunnels for access to the dam area. This was along the original road that led to Yellowstone National Park. The big wooden and concrete ball was used to plug the hydroelectric power water conduits so repairs could be made when required. This is a very long, skinny tunnel with big trucks and RVs going in both directions. Scary! So we went into Elk Horn? Elk Fork. Elk Fork Campground. We walked to the end of it. Across the street from where we're camped. Yep. And we found this really cool trail. A lot of horses came up here before us. So we've just been following them. A lot of horse uh, droppings along the trail, but it's beautiful. It's up here in the mountains. It is bear country, so we've been making lots of noise, lots of loud music playing, but we had to turn it off for this little video because, um, of course, it would be copyright issues if we left it on. And? And? Well, hang we're on. We're being safe. We yep. both have our bear protection. Yep. I have my bear spray. Joe has his... Bear protection. Bear protection. Yeah, we're good. It's still a little hazy today. Um, the fires, I guess, from Southern Oregon, I believe, is what they were saying, have blown into the area. But it is very nice. The river's down there, and the trail's not too difficult either. It's not. We're in um, Wyoming. Oh, near Cody. yeah, we're Cody near Cody, Mountain. Wyoming. We're between, we're between Cody, Wyoming, and the east entrance of Yellowstone. Yes. Out in the middle. So the trail we've been hiking on, you can kind of see how it just follows those hills. We're at a mile and a half, at least, back to the campground where we started. But it's just beautiful here. You don't see a trace of anything built up. And just seeing the mountains rolling off in either direction is beautiful. The campground we're staying at is called Wapiti 
campground. Wapiti, wapiti, wapiti. Smile at the camera. This is the end of what we're calling the Bear Trail. It ends right here at this river. It doesn't really end, it goes across the water over there, you can see, but we're not gonna hike through the water and uh, go there, not today. We're at Wapiti Park, a campground in the somebody, Shoshone. Shoshone State Forest. National Forest. National Forest in Wyoming. This is our second to the last day here. We're gonna get cleaned up and get ready to go tomorrow on Memorial Day and head towards South Dakota. That's the plan. But this has been a very nice campground. Two thumbs up. Yeah, we've been in the um, sites one through 20, which have electric, and we have really enjoyed that. Um, Joe, do you have anything else to add about the campground? Two thumbs up. Yeah, we really like it. It's great yeah. hiking, great views. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, I guess it's Labor Day morning, about 8.30, and we're fixing to leave this campground. It's been a great place. We really enjoyed it. It's beautiful here. There's mountains. There's a couple really nice trails we did. And... We have electric, no water, but we were able to uh, fill up the tank yesterday. We've been here this seven nights and uh, we had no problems with the uh, tanks. We had enough fresh water, but we filled up yesterday because we were leaving. Ran the hose. We are exactly about 104 feet <laughs> from the fresh water fill. As much as I wanted to stay in the Wyoming mountains, we had to keep going southeast for the winter. Our next stop was about halfway across the state at South Fork Campground near Buffalo, Wyoming. The drive was beautiful and pretty easy going. We saw lots of oil fields and high plains in between the beautiful mountains. We only stayed three nights at South Fork Campground, but it was really nice. We did another first come first serve site and again found a great site. There is no electric or water, but the campground is beautiful with pine-covered hills and nice hiking trail along a river that leads to a reservoir, if you scramble over a lot of boulders. We didn't go all the way there. The area is pretty isolated, but has lots of campgrounds and trailheads nearby. in the wilds of Wyoming and uh, we came across this man-made dam or something that leads off into a lake that we didn't make it to the big part of the lake but it was cool. A real nice trail uh, directly behind our camp. Yep. Bye y'all. Wave. In Deadwood. Um, in Deadwood. In Deadwood. In Deadwood. Uh, really, um, I want to go to, um, oh gosh, okay, look at the name Mount of it. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore, you fix this, right? I want to go to Mount, Mount Rushmore for my birthday and uh, maybe Custer State Park and hang out there a little bit. Okay, that's it for now. We both really liked Wyoming. We'll be back again to enjoy the Rocky Mountain summers. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.